Hi, it's been a while since my last update, but if you've been following this video series, you know that my journey with prostate cancer unfortunately did not end last February when I had my radical prostatectomy. Um, like many of you who are going through this yourself, after prostate surgery, um, they will, your doctor will continue to track your PSA level. And for me, I started to see a decline immediately after surgery. However, we started to tick back up um, in the months that followed, which meant that there was probably some residual cancer that remained in my body. Now, that's not necessarily uncommon when you go the nerve sparing route like I did. Um, as the doctor explained it to me, um, there were probably uh, trace amounts of prostate that remained as part of the, the surgery and sparing the nerves. And that uh, that uh, prostate tissue could have contained cancer cells. So after discussing this um, and my options with the doctor, decided to have both radiation and hormone therapy. Now, I believe that if I had just chosen radiation, I probably would have had minimal side effects. Um, I don't know that for sure, obviously, because that's not what I did. Um, but I can tell you that radiation itself um, was pretty painless. Um, it was every day for several weeks, um, same time every day. Um, I spent more time driving to and from the doctor than I did actually in the procedure. Um, I had a cast done of my legs, um, which made the, the procedure go faster. Um, you essentially get in the same position and that cast helps position you um, each day. And the machine took about 10 to 15 minutes, um, a couple of rotations, for me, I know one of the men that, that was going through this at the same time had three rotations of the machine, um, so his was a bit longer. But all in all, less than uh, 15 to 20 minutes um, actually in the room um, having the radiation done. Now the Lupron, on the other hand, um, is intended to take your testosterone down, um, and that is because the cancer really counts on that testosterone as a fuel. So I decided to go this route because after talking to my doctor about it, why not you know, starve the cancer, if you will, um, and deprive it of what it needs um, and radiate on, in addition to that. So first weaken it and then radiate in addition to that. Now the trade-off is that there are side effects with the Lupron injection. Now I had a three month shot, so um, right now, I'm actually on the upswing. I'm starting to start. I'm starting to build testosterone again, um, so my side effects are, are starting to diminish. But um, if you're wondering what that's like, um, I had mood swings, <laughs> uh, pretty intense mood swings. Uh, some days I didn't feel like myself at all. Um, I had hot flashes, um, more intense as um, the testosterone is depleted. Um, more intense at night to the point that, you know, it would often wake me up. So um, I took over-the-counter sleep aid to help me get through that. As well, um, zero sex drive. Um, you definitely get have a loss of sex drive. And then as the testosterone really gets down to um, really untraceable levels, you just really don't think about sex that often. Um, and fatigue. Fatigue was also another another symptom. So when you combine all of those things, um, for me, I, I really didn't feel like myself um, for a, a good period of the treatment and um, kind of isolated myself um, from a lot of things, um, these videos being one, uh, just to focus on the treatment itself and, and getting through those weeks. Now, it's not all negative, and it's something that I don't regret doing. I'm glad that I went both the radiation and hormone therapy route. Um, on a bright side, I was able to work throughout this process. Now, I did choose to do this and get started right away, so I did this over the holiday season. So I had some days off here and there from work, and I also had a week off in between Christmas and New Year. So that certainly helped because as I got, um, as I felt more and more fatigued throughout the day, um, that break really helped me uh, kind of get over the finish line because I finished um, at the beginning of January. Um, the other thing is that um, I was at a point where I could uh, get an erection with medication before the radiation and hormone therapy. 
Um, the doctor had shared that, you know, I might not um, have the desire, which I did not, um, but I might also not physically be able to have sex. I might not be able to have an erection during the treatment. I did not find that to be the case. I found that with my normal medication, I was still able to have an erection and I was still able to um, have sex throughout treatment, which I do think helps both um, physically and mentally if you're able to do that. Um, <clears throat> the fatigue itself, you know, sometimes I would find that I would just need to, to step away from work for a bit. And I did have conversations with my management before just to let them know what was going on. But all in all, I was able to have um, a normal uh, work day. Um, one thing that helped me get through is I stopped multitasking. I found it very difficult to do that. So I tried to tackle one thing at a time. The fatigue also impacted my ability to work out and exercise. Um, I wasn't working out regularly. I, very, I didn't work out very much at all. Um, but I did complete two half marathons. One was at the beginning of therapy, so I still had um, testosterone in my system. I was starting to ramp down, but um, still was at kind of um, acceptable levels, if you will, of testosterone and completed that half marathon um, with little to no challenges. Um, the last half marathon I completed a couple weeks ago, and prior to that I had my testosterone checked and it was a 12. And to put that in perspective, my normal testosterone is usually around 650 or so. So drop from 650 to almost undetectable. Um, was definitely feeling the fatigue and still having hot flashes. Um, but got out on the course and ran um, and really had only run maybe two six mile milers before that. So not a lot of prep before that either. Um, but I only point that out because um, you, for, I was able to find this balance where um, I might not have felt like myself, but I was still able to do the things that I do in my normal day-to-day -day life. I can tell you now that um, I'm past the three-month mark, so my testosterone is starting to build again, and each and every day is better. Um, I actually have a full marathon in a, in a few weeks, so I really have to go from that half marathon with little to no training to running 26 miles. So I, I ran a 20 miler last weekend um, and uh, have been working out more regularly, trying to get back to where I was before. And each day is a little bit easier. Um, sex drive is still not back 100%, um, but you know it's, it's getting better. Um, the fatigue is definitely getting better. I'm not as tired throughout the day as I was before. I'm definitely able to get through the work day with little to no you know, disruptions. And I'm even finding that I can get back to where I can multitask. The type of work that I do, it's not uncommon that you know, you're in a meeting, you're texting, you're IMing someone, you're working on a project. All these things are kind of happening simultaneously and you just have to figure it out. And before I was not able to do that and now I'm able to juggle a few things at the same time and really not lose focus. Um, so it's, it's getting better. I'll have my first PSA test um, in a few weeks and we'll see where we're at, but um, it's really just a check-in on where I'm at, both with my PSA and testosterone, making sure that it is building back up to normal levels. Um, but the doctor said to expect maybe six months before we get a, a really true reading on where I'm at. And of course, I'm aiming for an undetectable PSA level. So that's been kind of my holiday. and the last uh, several weeks. Um, if you have questions about either radiation or hormone therapy and would like to run that past me, feel free to do so. So many of you have reached out with great questions. I'm hoping you're finding these videos um, helpful and I'm always glad to answer any questions that you may have. And I will update you soon on how that race goes. <laughs> Talk to you soon.